Me the best fight I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, right. Because right. this is amazing. <laughs> I like how you said that. You know? no, memory. Yeah, Good but point. every fight I see I when he's gonna like, this is the best fight I've ever seen. So that is a, a nasty cut on the right eyelid of Dan Hooker and not at all in an optimal location, I wouldn't think. We still got three rounds left. Yeah, that's a long time. Especially the way these guys are fighting. They can't continue like this. Somebody's gonna fall. Yeah, somebody's gotten out of here. That's how both of these guys are fighting to finish. Beautifully done to the body by Poirier. That was nice. Yes. He faked the left high kick and came with a one-two. I mean, just missed that right hand. Yeah, the right hook just missed. Nice counter hook. Hooker went five hard rounds with Paul Felder in his first UFC main event back in February. Eats a right hand there. Thought this fight might happen mid-May. Was happy to have the extra time here to prepare for a late June date. Booker with a left hand over the top. I mean, both guys are starting to breathe hard. It looks like Hooker's slowing down a little bit, which is understandable. This has been a crazy pace. Both guys taking a lot of damage. It'd be almost inhuman to not slow down a little after yeah. those first two rounds, for sure. But they're looking like that. Oh. I mean, the accuracy of Poirier, he always lands in these shots. He doesn't miss very often. When he fires, he lands. Yeah, no, of course, when you're getting beaten up like this, on both sides, it's going to slow you down. I mean, it's like, imagine you're a race, you know, you, you're, you're a runner. They time you to run 400 meters, it takes a certain time. Then beat the crap out of someone, I guarantee they'll do it a little slower. Right. Ooh. And you saw the interim champion Justin Gaethje chime in recently just alluding to the championship hunger, right? This fight is a byproduct of a lot of things, but man, do these guys want it. Well, this fight also is about who is potentially the next contender, right? Because you've got Justin Gaethje going to fight Khabib, and then at the top, you know, oh, I mean, this, that. this, that's this, in there. This is one of Poirier's best weapons is this guillotine, yeah, too. He's getting out. He's oh, I don't know. It in t tighter and tighter. It's tight. That's in there. And, and that is tight, tight. It looks like he might have this, guys. That is so... No! Oh, oh, Hooker's out! Beautiful job, Hooker. Just tucks his chin. Slides out. Triangle attempt. Oh, he was so close. And, you know, that's what happens as you get into the rounds. We start getting slippery. Things that are in slip right out. Oh, he's got that overhook on the left side. Oh, my knee, come on to the elbow. Here. A triangle or a Kimura. It's the triangle that he's looking for. Trying to get the leg past the arm. Therefore, he can get the leg over the neck. Hooker definitely knows that triangle's coming. He gets his right arm out of there to take away that option. Poirier yeah, goes to the other side overhook. Tries on the other side. Nice, nice elbow. short elbow from Poirier. He had a similar submission attempt against Khabib Nurmagomedov last September that was fairly close. On bar. I mean, he's very active on his, on the from the bottom in his guard right here. He's slicing elbows, and he's not just sitting here waiting. He's trying to create something from the bottom, Poirier. No, he's being very aggressive from his back. He's trying to set up a lot of submissions here. But I always say two, three sub attempts, and then if you don't get it, time to get up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if the, this is a close round. They've all been close, but if he stays on his back for the majority of this round, he's probably going to lose the round. And how about the smarts of Hooker to go for the takedown? These guys were trading back and forth. Let's take that away. Let me get this round. Let me try to get some ground control and, and just not take as much damage as we go into the third the fourth round. And that's a smart move by Hooker here to, to fight like this. I think that was Dustin just said, what's the time? Taking advantage of the fact there's no crowd. And now he's trying to get back to his feet. He's trying to wall walk. He's going to... Oh, he's trying to look for the neck again. He's digging for it. That might give him some space to stand up. Get up. He's going to watch his back. Nice job by Poirier to use that to stand up. Well timed knee there by Hooker on the way up. Short shot lands for Dustin. And that's what you always talked about, using a submission attempt to get to your feet. Oh, those landed hard. Unbelievable fight as we come down the stretch in round three. Yeah, I don't know how these guys are still on their feet. I think there's a lot of people watching this who, who cannot at all relate yeah. to the heart, the physical, and mental toughness. I mean, Dan Hooker has taken some exceptionally heavy punches. And so is Dustin Poirier.
think you got to go to the body on these guys. What's the hope of going to the head anymore? I mean, they're just eating everything. Look at their faces. 15 minutes in the can. Ooh. Main event rounds forthcoming. Oh, my goodness. Have a seat on the stool. All right, another insanely action-packed round. There's a good jab from Dustin. Left hand finds the mark. And it was just like this from start to finish, to be honest. But here's Dan Hooker. Surprises him with the double leg. Of course, Dustin goes for the, the same guillotine he tried on Habib. And then he threw up a variety of submissions. Eventually got back to the feet. And then they went right back to doing what they did the entire fight. <laughs> <laughs> 